I have found one of the easiest ways to eat better is to incorporate more seasonal ingredients into your diet. And guess what's in season? Strawberries. So today I'm doing strawberries three ways. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna show you how to make my peanut butter and strawberry overnight oats, my strawberry avocado butter lettuce salad with a creamy balsamic vinaigrette, and my pan sear chicken with balsamic strawberries and feta cheese. So let's get started with breakfast. For my peanut butter and strawberry overnight oats, I'm just gonna grab a bowl here, and to that I'm combining one cup of old-fashioned rolled oats, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, you could use any type of milk you prefer, a pinch of cinnamon, a few drops of liquid stevia, you could also do a honey or a maple syrup there if you'd like, and two tablespoons of all-natural peanut butter. Then I'm just gonna carefully stir this all together until I have all of those ingredients incorporated. And be sure to really mix that peanut butter in well so it spreads all throughout the oats. Then I'm gonna divide this amongst two eight ounce mason jars. Now this is for two servings, but you could certainly scale it up if you wanted to make more or scale it down if you wanted to make less. Then top each jar with a handful of chopped strawberries. Then I'm gonna pop on the lids and put these in my fridge for at least three hours and preferably overnight. Once your oats are set, you are gonna see that you have the sweet, creamy, healthy, pudding-like breakfast ready to go when you are. And these are especially kid-friendly and perfect for busy weekdays because all the prep work is done the night before. For lunch, I'm making my strawberry avocado butter lettuce salad with a creamy balsamic vinaigrette. And I'm gonna start by making the dressing. So into my jar goes one clove of crushed garlic, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, and then a quarter cup of plain Greek yogurt. I'm using the 2% here. Season that with some salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna pop my lid on and shake this until all the ingredients are blended really well together, and I have this bright, tangy, delicious salad dressing. And by the way, if you do not have a jar like this, you could also do this in any type of cup or bowl and just whisk it together with a fork. Then for my salad, I have a nice big bowl of butter lettuce, sometimes called Boston lettuce, that I have washed, dried, and then chopped up. I'm gonna top that with some fresh sliced strawberries, chopped avocado, creamy tangy feta cheese, and then some roasted almonds that I gave a rough chop to as well. Now, because of the berries and the avocados, this salad is best eaten shortly after it's made. So I like to dish myself up a bowl, drizzle my dressing right over the top and enjoy. And any of the dressing that you don't use will happily last in your fridge for well up to a week after you make it. And last but not least, I'm making dinner. Pan seared chicken with balsamic strawberries and feta cheese. So for this recipe, I start by chopping up my strawberries. I'm gonna be using one heaping cup of fresh chopped strawberries. I'm gonna transfer those strawberries into a nice big bowl, and to that I am adding one tablespoon of balsamic glaze, which I showed you guys how to make just a couple of weeks ago. You can check that video out right over there if you need a reminder. Two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil, and one tablespoon of fresh chopped mint. Then I'll just gently stir this little bowl of summer all together. Then I'm going to set it aside and let it mingle while I make the chicken. So here at the stove I have one large non-stick sauté pan heating up over a medium heat. And over here I've got one pound of thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breast, which I'm going to season with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now if you can't find the thin sliced chicken at your grocery store, you could just buy a regular chicken breast and then slice it in half or ask your butcher to do it for you. Once my pan is hot, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and then I'm gonna add the seasoned side of my chicken down in the pan. And season the opposite side of the chicken with a little bit more salt and pepper. Now because this chicken is thin, it's gonna cook up really fast. So I let it go for about two to three minutes, and then I flip them over and let it go for another two to three minutes. You see this nice golden brown edge on the chicken? That is exactly what we want. So you have to make sure not to overcrowd the pan. 
work in batches if you need to because you want that crusty golden brown, trust me. Once my chicken is done cooking, I'm just gonna plate it up, then I'll take a couple of breasts, spoon over those balsamic herbed strawberries, sprinkle a little bit of that creamy feta cheese right over the top, and one last hit of basil for pretty. How beautiful is that? If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and come on down to the comments below and let me know which recipe you think you'll try first. And be sure to share this video with anybody else who you believe would like it too. To print any of my recipes, head on over to cleananddelicious.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. So let's get started with breakfast. What the is that? So let's get started. Pan seared strawberries, pan seared chicken, pan seared strawberries with ba chicken. Mm -hmm. pan seared chicken with the balsamic strawberries.